Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Now today what I'm going to do is to show you how you can turn something from colour into white. We're going to do it with a car, but you could also do it with a house. I just needed a change from doing it with houses because I've done that before in the sense of turning from one colour to another colour. And I'm going to link to those videos in the description below. But this time we're going to look at a car and we're going to make it white. Now, the problem here is to get this detail. When you've got an image of a car like this, there are a lot of shades and highlights. And when we get it into white, we want it to look realistic. So the first thing you're going to do is to choose a tool to do a selection with. The quick selection tool is not a bad tool to use. So what you'll do is just start selecting over the blue areas of the car. And if you go too far, then you can hold the Alt key on a PC option on a Mac and just drag over the areas you want to remove. And as you go, Photoshop's sort of going to learn how you make that choice and it's going to be a bit smarter as it goes. Now once you've made a selection, what you're going to do is this. You're going to target the background layer here and just drag it onto the new layer icon. So you have a background layer and a background copy. It's the background copy that we're going to add the mask to. So you've got your selection, click this top most layer and click the add layer mask icon. What that's going to do is isolate the blue areas of the image. Now to save you watching me do that because it's going to take quite some time, I already have one prepared here. And I've done a pretty good job of selecting the blue car. Now there are a few things I want to explain as to why I included them. I included the windscreen here and I included some elements underneath the lights and over the wheels here because you'll see that these areas are actually catching some reflected light from the rest of the car. So if we make the car white, these are going to look blue and so it's not going to look realistic. The other thing is that this mask is totally editable. So if I made a mistake in it, if for example I didn't select something I should have or I selected something I shouldn't have, that's not going to be a problem. It's all going to be able to be easily resolved later on. So the step for removing the colour from this image, because that's what we're going to do, is we're not actually going to add white, we're going to remove blue, is to go Layer, New Adjustment Layer and then Hue Saturation. You'll click OK. And this is the hue saturation dialog. At this point, you need to ascertain what color it is that you want to remove. Well, we've got what looks like a blue car. So let's go to this master channel and let's go and get blues. And I'm also going to click this icon here. What that does is it clips this adjustment so that it only affects the blue car. It's not going to affect the background because we don't want to make that white. We want to just do the car. So I've targeted blue and what I'm going to do is two things. I'm going to reduce the saturation and I'm going to increase the lightness and nothing happens. Well, the reason why nothing's happened is that this car isn't actually blue. It's actually cyan. So I'm just going to double click on the word saturation and lightness because I don't need to adjust those for blue. But let's go and get the next nearest color that is sort of a blue, which is cyan. And let's see what happens when we adjust saturation and lightness here. Take out the saturation, remove the saturation. You can see some areas I missed here in my selection. You can see here that the bumper bar of this car is reflecting some of the color of the car. So I'm going to need to add that in later on. Also, this area in here and this area of the tire are also going to need to be included in my selection. Probably also this area over here. But let's just continue with what we're doing here. What I'm going to do is take lightness up. So you're going to ascertain what color your car is. And if you select the wrong color as I did, it looked like this was blue. It really isn't blue, it's cyan. You'll find that the color next nearest to it is probably the color that you do actually need. Now, once you've done that, you can also add what's called a curves adjustment. So let's go and do that layer, new adjustment layer and curves. And again, click OK. And Curves is just going to allow us to lighten this because at the moment the car sort of looks grey-ish. But we can lighten it by just dragging up on the curve. And again, we'll want to clip this because we only want the effect to be on the car itself, not on the background. So we don't want to affect the background at all. And here it's really just to taste. How white do you want to make this? Aware that this is sort of evening light and it's not going to be as bright as it would during the day. So just do that to taste. Now, 
I said to you that I'd made a selection and that it possibly needed to be adjusted. Well, if it does need adjusting, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go and click on the car here and make your selection using a tool. So in this case, I'm going back to my quick selection tool and I'm just going to select over this bumper bar and add it to my mask. So just sort of trying to fine tune this a little bit. Alt or Option dragging over the area I don't want to include, dragging over the area I do want to include. So I'm using the image to make my selection. Now I'm targeting the mask because that's the thing that needs to be changed. You can read off the mask that the white area is the area that was the blue car. So in this case, we want to fill it with white. So I've made white my foreground color. And with the mask targeted, you can see it's got its little box around it. I'm going to press Alt Backspace on the PC. On the Mac, that would be Option Delete. And then I can press Control or Command D to deselect the selection. It's also possible to paint on the mask. So you can select the mask here. You can go and get a paintbrush. I'm going to go and get a sort of softish paintbrush. Maybe about 50% hardness. And then I can come in here. Let's just adjust the paintbrush size and add bits to the mask by painting on the mask layer and that just adds these extra areas to the mask and I would do it over the wheel here by just enlarging the paintbrush that's holding down the open and close square bracket keys lets me enlarge or reduce the size of the paintbrush and I'm just adding areas to the mask where I see that there is some blue color that's obviously legacy blue that's come from the car itself when it was blue now that it's white we need to make sure that we're not picking up those colors so this is the before and this is the after. We've turned a car from blue to white and we've kept all the detail in the car. All the shiny panels are still there. We've just been able to remove the color from it by targeting the color that we need to remove. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and you've learned something about Photoshop that you didn't otherwise know. Please, if you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley.